Florence Pugh is one of the best actors in the business right now. Today we're talking her brand new Netflix movie, The Wonder. What's up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to the channel. I said it yesterday, I'll say it again. My studio is flooding, so don't mind the background. It's a mess. But we're not here to talk about a depressing level of water damage in my ceiling. We're here to talk movies, and that's what we're going to do. Set in the Irish Midlands of 1862, the story follows a young girl who stops eating but remains miraculously alive and well. English nurse Libright is brought to a tiny village to observe this 11-year-old girl. Tourists and pilgrims mass to witness the girl, who is said to have survived without food for months. Is the village harboring a saint surviving on manna from heaven? Or are there more ominous motives at work? This movie is rated R for just sexuality, but this could also be possibly triggering for some individuals who do have or have had eating disorders. This is something that is heavily talked about in this film. It's not a part of the rating, but it is something I think a lot of people will need to know beforehand. Sebastian Lelio is our director here. Not as familiar with his work, but there were some interesting choices made behind an already interesting premise. Some that worked, some that didn't work. The very first choice we get is to start out with some narration and a scene that almost breaks the fourth wall but sets us up for the film that we are about to get because it is one that's dealing with a few themes here that will make it a bit of a different experience than it is on its surface. We are dealing with science versus religion and the concept of those that see what this young girl is doing and going through as a miracle of sorts and something that has a deeper or a greater meaning behind it. And then you have the others that are arguing this is an impossibility. Something else is at play here that uh, no one seems to want to talk about. And these two sides, they are slowly clashing in the background, but you have Florence Pugh's nurse who comes in and just has the assignment of watching this girl for a short period of time and making sure that nothing else is happening behind the scenes. And it seems like an easy and simple task, but what Pugh's character begins to realize that something could be happening here that is far more sinister than she expected. And seeing the different viewpoints of these individuals individuals from this time period that I think is handled extremely well. I like the atmosphere of this film. I also really love the score. Matthew Herbert is our composer, and I believe he deserves a shout out because the ominous music playing in the background, especially uh, the few scenes at the end when we get the results of what actually happened in those final few scenes, I thought it was astonishing. To me, that's the best part of the film, other than the performances at play. And it's not just Florence Pugh. Tom Burke, we could be related, plays Will Byrne. Uh, and Keela Lord Cassidy plays Anna, this young girl who is just kind of at the mercy of those around her. And even she doesn't fully comprehend what is happening. But what is happening, again has a much deeper meaning. Now, it's not one that I want to go into full detail about because obviously spoilers start to creep into that, uh, but it is something that is trying to say maybe more than what you expect on its surface. So don't go into this film expecting uh, pure entertainment. That's not the type of movie that it's trying to be. It's trying to be something that is saying something, but also conveying great performances and giving us interesting dialogue. Now, the, the main point I want to make here is this is a film that I respect more than I actually enjoyed. I do think the pacing is something that does bring it down. And, you know, I'm going to get the comments like, Austin, you don't like a slower paced movie? You don't like filmmaking? No, some of my favorite movies of all time are slower paced. But I do think the pacing started to get in the way of the story that it was telling. And it didn't move as well as it could have, and it doesn't deliver this shocking ending that I think will make some of those slower moments worth it. It delivers an ending that some may expect to see coming, and that's absolutely okay. I was intrigued by the ending. I thought it ended in a solid way, but nothing blew me away really about the experience as a whole other than, like I said, the music and Florence Pugh. I mean, this movie runs through her performance, even though the character of Anna is so fascinating to me, and I think that's due to the performance. It does give Florence Pugh a run for her money, and the fact that this is a period piece, and she's able to be hone in on some different emotions than what we've seen from her before. It's also a movie that is shot well. It will keep you uh, at least engaged, if not intrigued, if you're on board for this type of film. The only major decisions that I didn't love is, again, the fact that it starts the way that it does. I don't know if that's necessary, and it does come back around at the end and again I understand what it's trying to do it's trying to take that divide and speak upon how something like this could reflect on what people do nowadays I, I get it but at the same time it's just 
unnecessary because as an audience, we could figure that out ourselves. Before I give you a score for this Netflix film, let me know down below, did you enjoy The Wonder? The Wonder is a film that requires patience and understanding, but the fascination of what Anna is going through may captivate audiences. The pacing doesn't fully work, but Pew and Cassidy are excellent. Again, it's a movie I appreciate more than I actually loved, but I am going a 68% with my score. Uh, it's definitely one that if you enjoy these types of movies, you're going to want to check out at some point. Stay tuned. I am giving you guys a review for $18.99 later today. And if you want to drop a like on this video, that is the best way to help this channel. I appreciate it, guys. See you later.